My that's a scrambles track, that one. And I, you know, I had a good friend who was a racer, and we would go to races, we'd watch races. This is, was very popular, you go on weekends, and the guys that are doing this are real blue collar, they're mechanics, not a lot of money involved. And, and I was at one of these races, in fact, it was a race where I took a picture of this guy with all this mud on his face. This is mud face, this guy. So I was actually making this picture. And so I saw these guys, and I knew right away they were just walking in. And I went up and I confronted them and I, you know, I probably said I was a photographer. I probably looked like them because I, you know, I look, actually this is exactly probably what I looked like. And I was racing a motorcycle, but you know, whatever. I said, can I take your picture? And they said, sure. And, and his name is, that's Cowboy and Sparky. This is Cowboy and Sparky. After I took the picture, they joined the Outlaws, which I was already a member of. This one, then in 1975, which is almost 10 years later, is convicted of first degree murder in, in a biker outlaw murder in Utah and put on death row. They were the original one percenters. We had a patch at 1%. There was something called the American Motorcycle Association, and that ran all these races. And if you formed a club, which they were motorcycle clubs, not gangs, uh, you would get a official, like, like a pedigree for your dog. The outlaw clubs were clubs that did not have that sanction. So that, that was within this world of clubs. And they would club to the races and fuck, they get drunk and fuck up and do things. They really look like what they are, you know. They have a uniform. The bike riders were a super visual group, and I like that because I was a visual artist. And they did lead, they were a little nuts, you know, and I like that. And yeah, I saw these guys as having, first of all, they were rebels, they were rejects. They were free in a way. I took this picture in Louisville, and so there was a second guy with a Harley, and I got behind him, and then we took off for this ride. L Louisville is where Muhammad Ali is from, uh, and 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 the Louisville, has, the Ohio River goes through. The Ohio River, like all of American culture and history, develops along the Ohio River. Uh, and, and, and it passes through Louisville, and there are many, many bridges across it. So he's riding, he's not wearing a helmet. His helmet's there. If he wore the helmet, this would be forgotten about this picture. And so Easy Rider is similar, and they cross a lot of bridges. And I read uh, years ago in English Vogue that, that Easy, there was a connection, but, but this came first. <laughs> You know, in Milwaukee, they're real racist, much worse than Chicago. And the Milwaukee outlaws were like, the Chicago outlaws were like afraid of the Milwaukee outlaws because those guys were really over the edge. Zipko was one of them, and I was going, wow, these are the, you know, it's kind of like the Cheyenne meeting the, the Sioux, you know, because Indians were like that. Interestingly, 
I was crazier than them. I mean, I hope you're running, because I was crazier. Because I rode with them, and they like to ride in a group, and I'm thinking, what, you're going like, oh, we gotta go to Speedland. I said, what? You're a biker, right? So I was a biker, man. I, you know, it's about freedom, like a sailboat or flying. You're going anywhere which way you want on the sidewalk in between cars. Fast, you feel the wind. Uh, it's incredible. These guys are going slow. They don't want to go speed because they got the patch and the cops and all this insanity. This, they came out and showed me this. I said, this is horrible. This is, uh, what is this? Uh, Halloween, they're cropping my picture, they're writing crazy letters, and of course, we all love it now. <laughs>